248, 249, 250. Whoa. Hello, welcome to the world of Pint Sized. My name's Ollie and we got to 250 subscribers and litres of beer in my stomach. This is awesome news and I can't thank the people that subscribed enough. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. All you need to do is press the little pint glass up there or just press down there, just press anywhere, press on my face. To celebrate this feat of YouTube skill, sort of, not really that many is it? I'm giving away many, many amazing beers to one lucky subscriber. Over the next few days, I'm going to be choosing a subscriber at random to send a little care package of some of the most awesome beers around. Don't worry if you haven't subscribed yet, you've still got time. I'll probably decide at the end of the week. So, subscribe now if you want free beer. In other news, this happened. And don't you dare think you don't deserve it. I don't know what you've done with your life so far, but I can guarantee that when the time comes for you to take a trip to the big pub in the sky, you would have planted a tree under whose shade you did not expect to sit. It may not be a mighty oak, but it had a purpose. And for that, you deserve a beer. So sit down with me, join this community, stop thinking you're a blob of nothingness, and for goodness sake, love your beer. Love every single sip. My name is Ollie. Welcome to the world of pint-sized. I made a pint-sized creed all about why beer is so flaming awesome. If you haven't seen the whole thing, the link is in the description below or you can go and watch it right there. Anyway, on to today. We're skipping the beer news for today and moving straight on to the beer. And what a beer it is. From the Cantillon Brewery in Anderlecht, it's their Creek Quack Quack 100% Lamic Bio. Nothing says yum like all of those words. If you need a little recap on what Lambic beers are, here's a little clip from a significantly younger and whiter me. Lambic beers. They're super fun. Whereas a normal brewer would cultivate a yeast strain, then add it to the fermentation process, Lambic beers are sort of left just out there. They're left out in the Seine Valley near Brussels, where wild yeasts and bacteria ferment the beer while it's in the barrel. This is called spontaneous fermentation and is super awesome. But a little bit gross. I mean, a little bit gross. So, if this was a pure Lamic beer, I'd be in store for some serious sourness. But this is a creek. Quack! Creek is probably the most famous fruit beer around. This is Lamic beer that's been re-fermented in the presence of sour cherries. Yes, sour! The sugars from the original Lamic stock and the cherries being added bring about the activity in the yeast, which are already concentrated in the wood and in the skin of the fruits from being in the fresh air. There is also a secondary fermentation in the bottle. Some people like to leave it to secondary ferment for quite a while. It takes away a lot of the cherry colour and makes it a more oily colour. This second fermentation is part of the reason why this Cantillon is corked and capped. Great 80s cop show name. The Cantillon Brewery is regarded as the best Lamic beer around and that's all they brew. It was established in 1900 and their brewery and museum was featured in this book. Blimey. So let's open this. Twice. It's been chilled to serving temperature. I've got my tulip glass ready. One of the most it's just one of the most surreal things, taking a cap off a bottle and there's still being a cork in it. It's not wine, is it? Have you got me wine? Oh, what are you doing? I hate wine. It's best served with brown bread and white cheese, or radishes, onions and chives. Tasty combo. I'm drinking this one 11 months after the bottling date. Let's open it up. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I also read something utterly gross. The bacteria that's present during the fermentation is what's responsible for making Lamics hazy. This is because this bacteria produces slime, which is broken down over time, and the remnants of the slime is what makes the haze. Sour and slimy. This is my lucky day. Look at that. That's great. Oh my goodness. Oh, really, really great colour. Obviously really cherry, a little bit nutty. Oh! 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's so much more sour than I thought it would be. Can't go back for more. Oh, no. Oh, that's unusual. Super sour. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. Super sour, super dry, mega cherry taste. A little bit... A mm, little bit nutty aftertaste. Kind of nice. Kind of like a really, really gone-off Bakewell tart or cherry pie. But, goodness me, it's Moorish. So thirst-quenching. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's the coolest thing. It's the coolest beer. But, bloody hell. Oh. Amazing, lingering flavour. Apparently they put 175 kilos of cherries in every 650 litre barrel. Barrel. We're skipping on the Wikipedia stuff this episode because this beer has completely dried up my mouth. So instead, we'll give you a little preview about what's coming up next month. We've got the Mesopotamians Champions of Industry. We're doing a special episode where we're going to be reviewing quite a few non-alcoholic beers as well. Oh, so excited for that one. Bex Blue. And we're doing a big beer geek on Chinese beer. It's going to be an awesome march. You should totally subscribe. Up there. If you want to stay in the know. And remember, if you subscribe in the next few days, you'll be in with a chance of winning a big old case of awesome beer. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. was enough for everyone to quench their thirst and for them to take back down to town and have a mega rave the next day. Hey, I just met you and Arnold's crazy. He made this beer. It's kind of mazy.